Hi everyone, welcome to Dr. Mindfulness. My name is Stephen. I hope you are enjoying my channel more with the videos and photos, rather than just my talking head. I do write the scripts, but use AI to help with narration and somewhat in choosing accompanying videos. If you like it this way, give a thumbs up. In this video, I explore how human beings often experience an overwhelming feeling of emptiness and a profound desire to fill that void through deeper connections. Even in relationships, this longing often remains unfulfilled due to superficial communication and fear of true intimacy. Stay until the end, where I will detail how embracing our natural state of aloneness rather than fearing it, can lead to genuine self-acceptance and deeper, more authentic relationships with others. It is also a core aspect of spiritual awakening. connection. Yet fear of solitude keeps people together, searching for someone to fill the void and distract from loneliness. When one relationship ends, we quickly seek another or cling to remnants of old ones, desperate to avoid the loneliness we fear. Is it any wonder then that our relationships suffer when they are tainted from the start? Pursuing a relationship out of loneliness reduces the other person to a mere means of satisfying our craving to fill an overwhelming sense of emptiness. This person becomes a distraction rather than a genuine connection. When both people feel this emptiness, neither can fulfill the other. Eventually they realize that the other is incapable of satisfying them, often leading to resentment. Such relationships are founded on fear. The fear of being alone leaves little room for a genuine loving exchange, for love does not arise from fear. Where fear exists, love can hardly flourish. Even while a relationship persists, the fear lingers, often in the background. We become paranoid, suspicious, possessive, and jealous, always wanting to know where our partners are, what they're doing, and with whom. This certainty of impending abandonment leads us to push them away, often unknowingly. Acting out of fear rather than love makes the other person uncomfortable and creates unnecessary tension, causing disconnection. Where love unites, fear divides, and we often find ourselves feeling more disconnected and lonely than before. Loneliness breeds desperation, and desperation clouds our judgment. We rush into relationships without thinking clearly or rationally, without being realistic or discerning. The urgency to secure a partner often overrides the necessary process of getting to know someone. In many cultures, the desperation to be married is palpable. People want a partner to spend their lives with or someone to have children with. This desire for children often stems from the need for emotional fulfillment, a need born from loneliness. The thought of spending the rest of one's life alone is terrifying, 
so we latch onto the first person who shows interest, rushing into the relationship without truly taking the time to know them intimately. And it may be that we never truly reach that level of intimacy, even deep into a relationship. The fear of being alone and the craving for intimacy are so strong. This very craving is what we call loneliness. It's an unsettling feeling, one we try desperately to avoid. We distract ourselves with friends, sexual partners, television, games, drinking, drugs, and more. Yet inevitably, we must face the reality of being alone. against it. Aloneness is our natural state, and when we embrace it, we find completeness within it. It is being content with oneself, no longer relying on others for validation or to fulfill our psychological or spiritual needs. Aloneness is self-sufficiency. It requires no dependence on anyone else for love or happiness. Everything we need is already contained within us. We need only open up and allow it to arise spontaneously without obstruction. Aloneness is the complete acceptance of oneself and the full radiance of love and joy that emerges from within our own heart. Through aloneness, one discovers who they truly are in relation to the universe and to others. It allows us to understand our fears and desires, and by thoroughly understanding them, they gradually dissolve. What remains is stillness, peace, and clarity. The feeling of loneliness arises from our resistance to our aloneness. We attempt to resist that feeling by distracting ourselves, but ultimately, nothing seems to work. Like quicksand, the more we struggle against it, the deeper we sink. Only by embracing our aloneness can we find true peace and fulfillment. The more we struggle against loneliness, the deeper we find ourselves sinking, much like quicksand. This analogy resonates because it's widely understood that to escape quicksand, one must remain calm and passive, avoiding frantic resistance. Fear often drives us to panic and struggle desperately to break free, but this only worsens our predicament, causing us to sink even deeper. To become unstuck, we must first realize that struggling is counterproductive. To escape quicksand, one must relax and lie down. Similarly, to move from loneliness to aloneness, one must confront loneliness directly. Running from it only ensures that it persists, regardless of circumstances, even among friends or with a lover loneliness can creep back in. All our attempts to evade loneliness are merely temporary distractions, akin to masking the symptoms of an illness without addressing its root cause. To truly cure the loneliness disease, one must examine it, understand its origins, 
and confront it head on. In my experience, the most effective way to overcome loneliness is simply to be with it, to delve deeply into it without resistance. We resist loneliness because in solitude, there's no external distraction from our inner thoughts, fears, and insecurities, elements we'd rather avoid. Yet by embracing aloneness and facing these inner demons, we can alleviate discomfort and even discover joy in solitude. Aloneness presents invaluable opportunities. It allows for deep reflection and reassessment of life goals and desires. It nurtures the strength and courage needed to cultivate self-love and acceptance. It provides the space to confront fears and inadequacies and to develop the qualities we most desire for ourselves. Aloneness invites us to release attachments and relinquish expectations, finding validation and inspiration from within. It's an opportunity to uncover wisdom and beauty within oneself, to find peace and contentment and solitude, and to achieve a sense of wholeness. Embracing aloneness ultimately enables us to love others more deeply, as love flows freely when not hindered by fear or desperation. When we're content with aloneness and unconditionally love ourselves, we can authentically offer love to others without attachment or expectation. By embracing aloneness, we nurture the most crucial relationship of all, the one with ourselves. Thank you and please subscribe if you find videos like this helpful and leave any comments or questions.